Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about node modules. All a node module is is basically a JavaScript file. It's a way to separate concerns for our application. So for example, let's say that I have an app.js file and in this app.js file I have math, a bunch of API requests, and database calls. Instead of putting them all in one file, what we can do is separate each of those concerns into their own files. So to get started, I'm just going to hit Control B. I'm going to say Control N. So we're going to create a new file and I'm just going to say Control S and we're going to save it as tutorial.js. Let's save that Control B. And now we can focus on this new file or this new module called tutorial.js. So to get started, let's actually give our tutorial module something. So I'm going to give it a function. So I'm going to say const sum and it's going to have two parameters and all it's going to do is add and return them. So num1 plus num2. Next, what I want to end up doing is I want to expose this function to the outside world. Because right now, if I hit control S and if I was to try to use this function, so I'm just going to delete this. So if I was just to say sum one plus one, and if we were to actually run this, you can see that we get an error. Sum is not defined. So you might be saying, why is sum not defined? I just defined it here. Well, I need to expose this function for the outside world to use. So I need to let no know that this sum function within my tutorial module is available to be used. So in order to do that, all I need to do is type module.exports and pass it in sum, like so. Now that this is available to be used, I need to tell my app.js file where this sum function is located. So what I can do here is declare a variable. So I'm just going to say const tutorial. And now I'm just going to use the word require. And then we're going to give it a path. Now the path is dot forward slash. So where did I get dot forward slash from? Dot forward slash means that it's within the same exact path that this file is currently in where app.js. So if I was to hit control B, you can see that app.js is on the same level as tutorial.js and that they're in the same folder called node.js tutorial. So if I hit control B again, get rid of that. And then I pass in the name of the file, which is obviously tutorial.js. Now you do not need to pass in the extension. All you need to do is pass in the name of the file. Node.js automatically assumes that it is a JavaScript file. And now if I was to print out tutorial to let's see what's inside it. And now let's get rid of our sum call. We're going to call sum a little bit later. I just want to show you what the variable tutorial has. So if I was to save this, and let's scroll down. I'm going to type COS, hit enter. That's going to clear the terminal. And now I'm just going to run node app. And you can see that tutorial now holds a function called sum from our tutorial module. So now if I want to actually use that function, I can say tutorial and pass in one plus one. And let's actually print out the results. So I'm just going to say console.log it. Let's save it. Execute it again. And you can see that we get our desired output of two and that we are indeed importing from our tutorial module, the sum function. So now that we know how to do that, how would we import multiple stuff from modules? So for example, if we head back to our tutorial module, let's say I have multiple functions or multiple variables or even a class. How do I export more than one thing? Well, what you can do is I can say, and 
just for the sake of example, let's add more stuff. So I can say const pi, and I'm just gonna set this to 3.14, and let's create a class, and I'm gonna say sum math object. Let's give it a constructor, and I'm just gonna say object created. Okay, so now I have sum pi and sum math object. Now I want all three of these to be exposed to the outside world so that app.js, for example, can require them and then use it. So how do I do that? Well, one way to do that is to add properties to the module.exports object. So for example, I could say dot sum and I'm just gonna copy this. So now exports.sum is gonna have the sum function. Exports.pi is gonna hold the value of 3.14. So I just set it equal to pi. And sum math object is gonna be module.exports.sum math object is gonna be equal to some math object. Now, if I was to save this, head over to app, and let's just remove this for now. I wanna print out what tutorial is holding once we require from our tutorial module. So if I save this, and now let's execute this, you can see that we're getting an object back. Tutorial is now an object. And now this object has the properties of sum, and it tells you that it's a function, pi, the value of pi, and sum math object. And you can see that it's our class. And now if I wanna execute this, it'll be like accessing a normal object. So for example, we have tutorial, and let's say we wanna use the sum function. Instead of just saying tutorial and then passing the two numbers, I could say tutorial sum and pass in the two numbers. And I'm just gonna copy this. Let's paste this two more times. And now if I wanna print pi, I can say tutorial pi. And within here, the same thing for the object. I could say new tutorial dot sum math object. And that's gonna create a new instance of our sum math object. And now if I was to save this and run it, you can see that it executes as expected. So tutorial sum gives us two, pi has the value of 3.14, and you can see that our constructor gets executed, object created. One more thing to show you before I wrap this up. If this is an ugly syntax for you, for example, saying module.exports.sum equals this, module.exports.py is a bit repetitive. What we can do is, instead of exporting each of these individually, I'm going to, let's remove two of them. And instead, what we can do is, export an object literal and tag along the properties. So I could say sum is gonna be sum, pi is gonna be pi, and then sum math object is gonna be sum math object. And if I'm to save this and now execute it, we should get the same exact result. So let's execute that, you can see that it's working beautifully.